New York City is proving this summer that it's back and bubbling with life. People of all ages are enjoying new city experiences, including indoor mini golf, dancing under the stars, and relaxing at a waterfront hangout. CBS News New York's Lindsay Kane gives us an inside look and shows us where to find the fun. This new indoor miniature golf course set in a party atmosphere with street food and curated cocktails is taking over the nomad neighborhood. And we combine it all in this incredible 23,000 square foot space. When you walk in, you feel like you're stepping into the English countryside in the 1920s. So we have rolling courses which are covered in plants and trees and then scattered through that uh, we have bars and private hire spaces, our street food area. Swingers, the crazy golf club just opened in mid-June and is here to stay. I think the timing is kind of perfect. People have been, you know, weathering the pandemic. They are now ready to go out and do stuff. There's nothing like this in New York. And so the reception has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, the tickets have been selling like crazy. It was a lot of fun. Miniature golf food, drink, and good company. This spot is one of many helping to bring the city back to what it once was in pre-COVID times. I think everyone is moving back to New York. Everyone wants to be in urban areas. From swinging golf clubs to swinging on Lincoln Center's outdoor dance floor. I think it's really special to come and dance under the stars. I don't know where else you get to do that. All of our programming is free. You know, I think what's really special is that energy that you get to share with somebody else. There's something really unique about the arts. There's something really unique about being in a space and all of a sudden you start to connect with other people and you start to like, everyone gets excited at the same time and we're feeling that again. Looking at the amazing dancers and listening to the music, I love coming here several times a week. The Lincoln Center for Performing Arts has created the Oasis. It's New York City's largest outdoor dance floor with this 10 foot wide disco ball. We see a real responsibility to our city and part of that is to bring the arts back and to bring everyone back to, to help revive New York City. I feel like it's being revitalized. I mean slowly but surely. I'm still a little cautious and I'm sure others are too but it's nice to see. It's exciting. People are coming back and socializing. And if dancing isn't your thing, head on over to Portside at Brookfield Place in Lower Manhattan. The Zen, coastal inspired setting is backdropped by the Hudson River. It's essentially a waterfront hangout with free summer programming, evening cocktails, summer coffees, activities. Good for people of all ages. If you're coming to New York for the first time, if you've lived here forever. There's a book club, arts and crafts sessions, and toddler yacht parties all summer long, and even into the end of September. New York City has so much to offer, and we are on the coast and on two beautiful rivers and New York Harbor, and taking advantage of that waterfront view and that vibe is something we tried to tap into here with Portside. It's nice to have a place to just like, you know, get together, um, or even if you're on your own, just like have a nice area to, to chill during lunch. Whether you're taking a shot at swingers, stomping your feet at the Oasis, or soaking in the sun at Portside, there's something to keep you busy this summer in the city. Lindsay Kane, CBS News, New York. If you'd like more information on anything you've seen, go to CBSNewYork.com.